Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you here. Today we're gonna do something that I have never done before. We are going to review a horror movie. I love horror movies. That's like my life and I don't know why I never thought about doing this. Like when I started the channel, I was like, oh, I'm going to open boxes and do makeup. And I'm like, this, this is not me. What, who I, who am I? And I'm a horror movie lover. So we are going to do it. Today we're going to be going through the movie The Lodge. And I feel like it's a really cool movie and I haven't seen a lot about it. So let's get into it. So without further ado, Let's get spooky. All right, so The Lodge is a 2019 movie. Its director was Veronica Franz and Leah McHugh. It's rated R. And it is starring Riley Ko. I hope I said that right. Interesting fact about Riley Ko is her mother is Lisa Marie Presley. That's right. That is Elvis and Priscilla Presley's daughter, which I was really shocked and surprised when I found that out. Also, this movie was produced by Hammer Films, and that in, in itself is really cool because Hammer Films is like this very popular like films in the 70s. They did like all these raunchy like horror movies. They were like the first to show boobs and vampire teeth and blood and yeah, you gotta love Hammer films. One day we will go through some Hammer films, but they are the people that like, they brought boobs and blood to the big screen. So, all right, so let's get into this. Um, I thought that The Lodge was very similar to the movie Hereditary. I don't know if you watched Hereditary or not, but I found that a really good movie as well. They opened up with, and this is something else I forgot, they open up with Alicia Silverstone. I don't know if you guys remember her, but yeah, she's in the movie. It's a nice little cameo of her, but they open up with her walking around, screaming for her kids, but there's a dollhouse, and in the dollhouse, it like portrays like what's gonna happen next in the movie, and it's very similar to Hereditary. Then you get to see Alicia, she starts crying, you're wondering what's going on, and she just kind of like drives to this place, the kids are in the back, they're talking. I just want to be upfront that there are going to be spoilers in this review because I'm basically going to just run through the whole movie and tell you what happens. So if you don't want to know what happens in this movie, then please don't watch it. Maybe watch the movie and come back for this, the review, I guess. I don't know. Maybe. But anyway, these two kids, their name is Aiden and Mia, and they're basically getting dropped off at their dad's house. So you are led to believe that the mom and the dad are not getting along. They're, something's going on. They're not living in the same place. The mom's name, played by Alicia Silverstone, is Mara, and the dad's name is Richard. I don't know who he is. I've never seen him before. But while the kids are getting dropped off, the kid is in the background is like the little girl. She's like, is she going to be there? So you kind of feel like, oh, there's another woman. And when they get there, you can see like upstairs, you can see like the silhouette of another woman. And she kind of like leaves and the kids come in and, you know, Richard invites the mom, which is Alicia Silverstone, to come in the room and talk to him. And he's like, you know, we really need to finish these uh, proceedings. I want to finalize the divorce. And Alicia Silverstone's character is like, oh, OK, that's fine. And he's like, yeah, I want to get married to this new girl, which her name is Grace. And so she leaves. And the next scene that you see is kind of crazy because you're like watching um, Alicia Silverstone's character walk around the house. She's being all OCD. She's fixing the like the, the stuff. And then she sits down. She takes off her necklace. She pours herself a glass of wine. She takes her gun and she just blows her head off. And that's 
it's like pretty like wow that's it and that's all you get to see of her character and so like the next few scenes are of the kids crying there's this part where they're in the funeral and the little girl ties like they're they're gonna do like this balloon release and the little girl ties the balloon to the doll that looks just like her mother and she's like trying to get the doll and the balloon to like go up in the air when they do the balloon release and for you know because the doll is so heavy it just falls down and all the balloons go up and I feel like it's a symbolism that the mother is not going to go to heaven or at least this is a symbolism for the little girl because the next scene the little girl is in her bed and she's like you don't understand she's not going to heaven and you know she's sitting there crying she's being very unconsolable and her brother comes in the room Aiden comes in the room and he puts his hand up and they're holding hands and little Mia and Aiden are like holding hands and so the next scene which I think is very bizarre is they're all sitting outside with these turkeys hanging and at first I'm like are these turkeys like cooked turkeys but they're not cooked turkeys they're like I don't know like decorative turkeys and here's something else they're eating pasta and peas for Thanksgiving like who eats pastas and peas but anyway so the dad Richard is like talking to the kids and he's like so you know I think that you guys should go to the lodge with this woman that you know I met the woman from before and spend Christmas with her while I'm in town and the kids are like no and he's like yes you're gonna do it and the little boy is like no I'm not gonna do it his name's Aiden and they get into this huge fight and so the dad's like fine or whatever and he's like I gotta go out tonight so he's obviously going out to see Grace and while he's out to go see Grace both Aiden and Mia they go into um, Richard's room and Richard is writing a book about a cult or cults or whatever and it turns out that Grace this woman that he's been seeing is actually like the subject of his book and somehow there's like some footage of the cult and I guess the cult leader was her father and she's filming it and then like there's a scene where they're like singing and there's like a, a ball of crosses and then the next scene you go downstairs in the basement and it's like all these people are laying in beds and they have like these purple sheets over them and their shoes are off it's very heaven's gate I don't know if you guys know what heaven's gate is it's a cult that killed themselves I think in the 90s or 2000s and they like put purple sheets over them and drink weird kool-aid laced with something really bad but um yeah it was very heaven's gate so there's a newspaper article too and it says 39 dead one survived and it's supposed to be grace and she's supposed to show the rest of the world the father's teachings or whatever and then at that point the father comes home and catches them looking at and he's like what are you guys doing and the kids are like nothing and they run off and so the next scene the dad is talking to the son and he is like you know she's really determined to hang out with you during Christmas so I think you're gonna go and then fast forward the kids are loaded up we're going to go get Grace which is the woman and we end up at her house and you know Grace actually makes her appearance into the film and she comes out with her little dog which I always hate when I see little dogs in horror movies because you know it's never gonna be good and it never is and like she tries to talk to the kids and the kids are like snubbing her and what's interesting is right before they took off to go on this trip you kind of see like in this dollhouse like some weird things going on in there they don't look normal and again this once again reminds me of hereditary so they get to the house and you know they're she's trying to be like trying to like bond with them really you see her putting away like Christmas presents that she's gonna put down with them and this little girl has a doll and it looks just like her mom and the next scene you know the kids are out by the ice and the dad is doing something I guess he's shoveling and uh, Grace throws on this red hat and she doesn't know 
whose red hat it is, but she goes out there and she's trying to get to him. She's having a problem skating. And the kids come like skating up to her and they're like, that's my mom's hat. She's like, oh, I'm sorry. And they like kind of take it from her. And it's like a weird tension. And then the little girl, Mia, there's this one part where she's like playing with the doll that looks like the mom. And she's like getting closer and closer to this fishing hole. And then all of a sudden the doll gets thrown into the fishing hole. So Grace runs to him as fast as she can. And she basically falls into the fishing hole and the doll like miraculously appears in Mia's hands. And the next scene, you know, Grace is sitting down all cold and she's getting hot cocoa. And the dad is like, are you okay? And she's like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. And then the next day they're like, He's like, okay, well, I'm going to go to town because that's a really good idea. Because, you know, the kids are acting crazy and you're acting crazy. And meanwhile, all the time that this is going on, you actually you actually see that Mia has these pills. Or not Mia. You actually see that Grace has got these pills and she's kind of like popping these pills. But she's doing it so she can stay calm. Oh, by the way, here's my puppy. And so, you know, she's got these pills, but she's hiding the pills from Richard. And Richard is like asking her, are you okay? And for some reason she's hiding the pills from him. But I mean, everyone's gotta take some pills when they're upset, right? So Richard decides, despite the fact that, you know, Grace is acting kind of crazy and his kids are acting kind of crazy. He's going to take off and go do some work during Christmas, even though the kids just lost their mom, because that's a great idea, right? And so, you know, they're they're all staying there and eventually they watch this movie and they're watching the movie and Mia's like, oh, I don't feel good. And, you know, Grace is like, oh, you, you seem to be not warm. And she's like, oh, but I just don't. And she, Aiden's like, can I go get that gas heater for you? And Mia's like, yeah, that's a great idea. And so they're all watching this movie. And suddenly Grace asks, are you sure that this gas heater is good? It's not going to get us sick or anything. And Aiden's like, oh, yeah, it's perfectly safe. And then the next scene, you w they all wake up and basically... The electricity is off, all of their stuff is gone, the food is gone, everything is like, like all the decorations that they put up for Christmas are gone. And you see Grace get really mad and she's like, where is everything? And the kids are like, oh, we don't have it. And so she goes to go find her pills and guess what? Her pills are gone. So she's like, you better give me my pills back. And the kids are like, we don't have the pills. And so, I don't know, she gets really upset and she decides like, I'm going to go to the gas station and get help. And the kids are like, no, you can't. There's a storm. And they're like, she's like, no, I'm going. And so there's like this whole scene where she's walking around and storming. And all of a sudden she comes to this like house and it's like in the shape of a cross and inside the house is her father, but I don't think he's really there. I think it's all in her head. And so she goes all the way back home, but she's trying to get out, but she ends up back at the lodge. And so while then, when she's at the lodge, somewhere in this mix, her little dog gets out and she can't find the little dog. The little dog's name is Grady. And this is what seems to kind of push Grace over the edge. Not losing the bills or anything else, but the little dog. Like this, this is like the, the ultimate bad thing. Eventually, somehow, uh, Grace goes outside. She's walking around and she returns with the frozen dog, which why do movie makers always do this? And so like the little girl, her name is Mia. She's like, oh no, Grady. And like, Grace is all messed up and she's like freaking out. And somehow that night she decides like, okay, I'm going to have to repent. This is what my father did. So there's like this scene where she's pressing on the fire and she's burning herself. And the kids are like, oh man, we really did something bad. So they try to tell Grace like, hey, 
Um, we did this. This is all fake. We turned it off and there's a scene like they cut to them where they hid everything underneath the house and they're trying to start the generator but they can't get it started and you know they're, they're not able to convince Grace that this isn't real. And at this point the father who's been missing in action is like hmm I wonder why no one's picking up the phone. But apparently the little girl had her phone working and she called him so he wasn't too worried even though he never talked to Grace. Don't you think he'd be a bit concerned about leaving a cult leader's daughter with your kids after they just left their, lost their mom? I would be, but that's just me. So of course, Richard hurries up and gets home as fast as he can. He gets in and while this scene is happening, um, in one point, Aiden, like, there's this scene where Aiden like puts like a noose around his neck and he's like we're dead we're dead can't you see Grace this is before they told like he they told Grace that like they did this and that's like another scene that totally made her go crazy and so like Richard walks in the house and Grace has a gun and he's like Grace give me the gun and she's like no I can't we're all in purgatory and so he's like no we're not and she's like yes we are and she takes the gun and she puts it to her head and she goes to shoot herself but there's i guess like no bullet in that time but then she points the gun at richard the kid's father and she shoots them or she shoots him and he falls down and the next scene is of the kids and grace and they pulled richard off the ground and they're all sitting in this like like little eating scene this dinner scene and they're singing and uh the kids are crying and you can see richard the dad with his head blown off and she like all of a sudden like all right oh, man i missed this one part i did when they showed the cult when they were underneath the purple sheets they had these like it looked like duct tape and it said sin on it and i forgot to mention that at the end scene she pulls out this duct tape and it says sin on it and she's putting it on the kids mouths and then it like the camera pans to the revolver and you see two like bullets in there and it's kind of like thought that you are probably going like the next thing that's going to happen is that she's going to shoot them and that's the end of the movie i thought it was an excellent movie i thought it had really cool visuals i was actually like totally surprised by how good it is i hope i wasn't all over the place because i i feel like i was it's my first thing but you know i'll get better i'll get better but if you want to watch a really scary movie during the winter it, i actually we watched this right around christmas time and it definitely had that like christmas horror movie feel to it so I, I really enjoyed it, but yeah, I thought it was a great movie and I think you will too. So let me know how you thought about me doing my first horror movie review. I'm sure I was a little bit scrambled because I've never done it before, but I'm going to do a whole bunch of them and I'm going to get better and better and you're going to love them. So thank you so much for watching my channel. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. If you thought that it sucked, please let me know why. Tell me if there's any horror movies that you might really like to watch. And as always, stay safe and stay spooky. Bye.